Hello and welcome to On Print Shop. In this video, we'll see what is Content Management System, that is CMS. First, we'll see what is CMS. Then we'll go and see what are important pages on the website that needs to be added. How to edit CMS header, footer, etc. How to change the position of the links on the website. Also, we'll go through some important points that you need to make changes on the below pages. For example, about us, you have to change according to your about us story of your company. Contact us, you need to change and privacy policy terms and conditions. These are few important pages on the website that we have given as a standard that you have to change and make the changes in the header and footer and also you should change how uh, FAQs and testimonials. Also, you need to change the FAQs and testimonials. So, let's get started. Now, let us understand the PM. Now, let us understand the CMS. Now, first, if you go from top to bottom, from top to bottom from here is called the CMS. Now let us understand different four parts of the CMS. This is called the top header. This is called the header portion. Now this is called CMS header portion. This is CMS index area where you display your products, categories or groups. From here to here, this is called CMS footer middle footer to be precise and this is called the CMS footer portion where you have placed the footer links. Now this is these are all links that are placed on the header as well as on the footer. Now let us understand how you can change or edit the links. For example suppose if you want to edit the middle portion of the CMS. So let us go on to the admin side, click on content management, click on content and just search for middle. When you search for middle it will appear this middle content footer. Just click on that for confirmation. You can view what is there inside this link and here it is what we want to add it. Click on here Go to action, click on add it. And when you click on add it, it will display all the content that is there in the middle portion of the CMS. You can make the changes and click on save and back. Now let us move on to the here and check. Suppose this link you want to add it. The contact us as it is blank, it is not added. Let us try to add it those. For that, you will go to content management again. From here, search as contact us, and the link will be displayed. And let us first check what is there inside it. It is the same thing that we want to add it. So go to action. Click on add it and the thing is displayed over here. Now let us make the changes. This is our address. So I will go in here and will paste it. So the address is displayed and I will click on save and back. So when I click on save and back and go on to the console and refresh the page, the address has been. Added. So this way you can address the links over here. Now let us take another example of about us. Now about us is that we have given you the key as standard when we create a new website for you. It is a standard, a simple or a demo kind of about us that has been displayed to you. So you need to change this about us. So let us go in here and search about us. So about us is the link. Let us just confirm. Okay, that is the perfect link. Click on action and add it. 
Now here you can place the picture of your purse of your dress or something like that. Let us place a small picture. This is the third party editor. You can do all those things which are displayed on here as we have already explained in another video as well. Let's try to place a picture over here. Suppose if I want to place a picture in here and click on image, go to browse server and you have to select the image that you have. Click on here and image is too high. I make it little smaller. 300 by 300 and I'll click on OK. Now as soon as I click on OK, the image of my dress will be displayed. Click on action, say back and go to the console and press the page. So when now your customer on the front store opens this about us, you will be able to see this image. So this way you can place the image, you can place the link as well. Click on action, add it, and you can place the link. Suppose if you want to place any other link, you can place the link. Let me place the link for Google. So let me place this on print shop link to the image. You can place any link <coughs> from here. Just go and paste the link. Click on here. Click on OK. Click on Save. And go to the console. Refresh the page. Now you have a link on this image. So when the customer clicks on this image, it will open a link that you have placed. So this way you can place the links on the image also. On the image also or on the text also. So all these functionalities that have been described on this third party editor, you can use those. Now let us go on the home on the front store and check how to move these links. Suppose if I don't want this contact us to be here, I wanted it on the top corner or on the top side. So for that we have to go to add to footer links. Go to store personalization, go to links at the footer and search for contact us. Contact us link is placed on the add portion. Now we want to move it on the top header right over here. So go to option, go to edit, and move this link to the top portion and click on save. Here you have to add these contact us and click on save. So now if you go onto the console, refresh the page, the contact us link is moved from here to here. So you can move any link from header to footer or to top header or to sidebar. So this way you can manage the movement of the links. Now let us go back and check on the content side how many pages we do, do we have. Let's explain earlier that you have to make the changes on the pages or the important pages that we have given to you as standard as a complement as as a sample such as about us terms and condition privacy policy so all these pages you need to add it and if you go and search as privacy policy so you will have these link and you can add it those same as we have done for the about us and contact us now there are two types of pages number one is dynamic and number two is fixed page now as you can see these are dynamic and these are fixed pages now please remember fixed pages will be only be able to add it whereas dynamic pages will be 
packetable as well as you can delete with them. The pages that you have created from your site will be dynamic and the page that is, is fixed will be fixed kind of and you won't be able to delete those. So for example this fixed page you won't have that link of deleting whereas in this dynamic page you have that option of deleting it. So these are the two main functions of the pages on the website. There are un unlimited pages that you can create on the website and from here you can create the new page. So this is what is the content management system. We will see how to create new page and new links on the next video. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. See you in the next video. Have a nice time. Take care. Bye-bye.